It's a very cooperative, it's a very collaborative network, so we absolutely rely on people to participate. Um, and so what happens is, is people choose to work with us, we provide them with the tools, the analysis, the infrastructure, to then share their data with others as part of a community, and they get the anal analytical tools to make sense of their own data. And not only can they see their own data, but it also allows us to put people in contact with one another through privacy protecting ways across Europe. So clinicians who are treating similar types of patients with similar types of cancers in ways that doesn't break any of the, uh, the rules around protecting the privacy of individuals, but they can actually understand each other's practice. So putting together people in this way is really required today because uh, cancer care has become very fragmented. Uh, so the personalization of care means that we're getting more and more specific about an individual treatment. Um, and by combining, if you like, the power of the community together through this platform, uh, we think it has a real benefit, not just for the clinical community, but I think we almost, uh, these are information that people may assume already exists. So patients may already assume that we know uh, how they're being treated, whether or not uh, they're being treated in line with certain guidelines, uh, that we can understand how different products are being adopted into clinical practice. And a lot of these things are possible today, but only if we're looking back in time. And so we think one of the real advantages of what we're doing is creating this connection amongst people, a, connect a connection with the data that they're sharing. And as you say, at the end of the day, the real benefit of this is for us to try and give something back in terms of improving patient care. The only thing I would say about code is uh, we, we really think that this is something that can be powerful for the clinical community. We've uh, spent a huge amount of time uh, and a huge amount of thought into how can we allow and help people to share their data, again, in ways which are protecting the privacy, not just of the individual clinicians, the organizations, but most importantly, of course, the patients themselves. But we do need people to participate. Uh, and this is a cooperative endeavor. Uh, and so we would be delighted if more centers would like to join uh, the initiative and join the network.